All right, hey guys, what is going on? It is Trinity back here today, and so I've gotten a recommendation over on Facebook by a person named Mahir Ahmed. He uh, messaged me the other day saying he would like me to show you guys kind of how to uh, edit my, how I edit my videos, and how I record my videos, and I'm gonna be breaking up this into parts as it is, uh, as it will be a pretty long tutorial, and it does take a lot of time uh, for me to edit and record on my videos. Uh, but today we're actually gonna be doing the recording part of uh, my setup, I guess you can call it. All right, so today we're gonna actually be using the Open Broadcast software now this is a free program and that's why I kind of picked it and it actually records very well very nice uh, probably one of the most options you can get out of a screen recorder uh, plenty of good things that it has so pretty much just go over here uh, depends on whether you have Windows or Linux or Mac so uh, I have Windows so I'm gonna do Windows it'll bring you over here and I'll just actually download something so once you download something of course you can go ahead and install it so now it's gonna ask you this just kind of hit next uh, I agree I'm not gonna read it there we go on open broadcast software and now it should have made a little desktop icon for us so there we have that and so now we can just go ahead and press finish all right guys so first off I'm gonna set you guys up with the recommended settings that I have so first go down here to go to the settings button generally you can choose your language and uh, I want to worry about the setting profile anyways go down next to encoding uh, I changed the max bit rate here, right here to 3000 if it's not on that already next you can go to broadcast settings and uh, this may be on live stream but I, I'm not teaching you guys how to live stream today so I'm just teaching you how to record, which is file output only. So change the mode up here to file output only. Now, as you see, this comes up, uh, replay buffer file path and file uh, path. Now, in order to change this, actually, um, the FOV, YouTube does not support FOV. So change it to MP4, uh, unless you want to keep FOV. But if you guys don't know what FOV is, then I'd recommend changing it to MP4. FOV is a video uh, format that can only be played with a special third party, uh, you know, player. So I'd recommend MP4 as YouTube accepts that, and it looks a lot nicer as well. So uh, change that both to MP4. Now once you change both of those to MP4, we can now kind of choose our file path. So go up here to go to Browse, and now uh, I'm going to do the just the videos folder, and I'm going to actually enter an untitled. So and now once I save this, every video that I record with OBS will just be named untitled, unless there's another video which is named untitled, it'll ask me to uh, choose a different name. Anyways, next go to Video, and don't forget to click Apply changes uh, video you can just kind of choose what you want now this may say uh, 1280 by 7 768 uh, go ahead and go to change it to 720 as we want a 16 by 9 ratio or uh, you can do 1920 by 1080 but my screen resolution is 1280 by 720 if you guys have a 1080p monitor then do 1920 by 1080 next let's go to uh, not hotkeys but audio and with audio uh, I'm just gonna use my default default uh, desktop audio device and my microphone I'm just gonna pick the microphone that I have right now I'm not gonna worry about this push to talk stuff uh, I'm now gonna move on to hotkeys so pretty much hotkeys are optional you don't have to use them but if it's a preference if you want it it's there I don't really use them but there you have it now we can move on to advanced here and now in advanced you're gonna want to go down to video right here and uh, you can either do very fast I'd recommend at least faster so I'm just not gonna worry about that just press yes uh, but I'm gonna do very fast if you have a pretty good computer PC you can go up to super fast or even ultra fast so that all depends on what you want but you have to have the specs or pretty a uh, pretty good computer in order to do that anyways now we're pretty much finished with the kind of uh, settings and everything else here so don't forget to press apply and just press ok now in order to actually record something you want to go over here to the sources right click uh, this little ad box will come up just kind of move over to the side here and we're gonna do window capture obviously there is options there for game capture and things like that so if you're capturing game you might want to choose that anyways we can now name this and we can name it google and then window up here if it doesn't show up a window just refresh make sure you have a window open by the way obviously because otherwise it won't detect anything we'll, we'll, we'll do the open broadcast software index google chrome uh, we'll do inner window and uh, you can change this stuff up if you want um, otherwise I'm just gonna press ok now as you can see it comes up but there's nothing on the screen and it comes with a little checkbox so if you don't want to see it uh, you can just uh, put that checkbox check there uh, but I obviously want to see it obviously we can't see it right now though so uh, you can either do three of these right here which is start streaming start recording or preview stream we're gonna go ahead and preview stream and as you can see it brings up our Google Chrome uh, kind of picture here so, or not picture a website that we're on right now so we can go ahead and this is a preview so it won't be recording um, so you can just stop that and now if you want to record you can just click record I'm not going to but obviously if you want to you can and if you want to preview again uh, there you have it there's your preview and so yeah that's pretty much it guys anyways guys i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to drop a like if you did and subscribe for more daily content